writing process was, I guess, about four months, um, at least uh, for my part, you know, in my end. And then uh, Craig, I can't remember how long he took. Um, he obviously had to learn the songs, what I'd written, but then wrote a lot of his own parts as well and came up with a lot of cool ideas. So it's a very challenging album to play as well, so like the tracking took a while, but um, we both wanted to keep everything completely honest and, and natural, so uh, really try not to rely on any kind of recording techniques or dropping in too much, you know, trying to play the songs through in as big a chunk as possible and just kind of rehearse it before recording as opposed to, you know, relying on the technology to help. Gear is concerned, we used a DW Collectors kit, Maple, 24 by 14 inch kick, 10, 12, 14, 16 toms, 14 by 6.5 Ludwig Black Beauty from I think 1981. Um, all minor symbols, two crashes, two splashes, two chinas, two pairs of hats, one ride. I wanted two rides, but we ran out of space. first sent me the songs, the first thing I thought was Aliens, the second thing I thought was Stuart Copeland. Craig's drumming really makes the album what it is because uh, I mean there was never like a question of what, whether it was going to be real drums or not. I, I really don't like. Uh, for me personally, I don't really want to do you know real albums with fake drums. I'd rather just you know as great as they can sound, I'd rather just use that for demos and stuff. And um, yeah, so he was like the first choice because me and him share a lot of similar influences. And yeah, his his drumming is insane. Like really inventive playing. Um, and very like honest playing, like you can see from the videos, like he's a you know insane drummer. something that I've wanted to do for a really long time just to do like a really progressive album with like no limitations whatsoever because uh, usually I've got very kind of rigid songwriting rules that you kind of abide by like uh, you know repetition and verses and choruses and all that kind of stuff and for this it was really cool to just um, not have any limitations just keep the songs as long as they need to be and you know just go off in all kinds of tangents and stuff like barely any of the songs end 
how they start so there's not much stuff like repeated um, at least like you know if it's an eight minute song after the first few minutes you know it's going to move somewhere else so every song is kind of like a little journey Because I had so long to work on my parts, and well, basically I told Josh that I need this long to, because uh, the music's pretty intense, so I wanted to make some really cool parts. So I had about six months worth of practice. For the guitars, I used uh, my Marshalls, uh, JSM 800, and an old uh, 70s JMP, and then uh, like a variety of the ESP guitars, but mainly the LTD X Tone that I've been using, which is kind of semi hollow, but has a really tight, uh, aggressive sound to it as well. like the 70s vibe on it. Hopefully with the mixing we can try and make it sound like it was a 70s band that you missed out on that were a bit ahead of their time. Not blowing our own trumpet ahead of our time, but hopefully that. Yeah.